I'm flying with ignition! Wait, what? You can fly with ignition? So here is where we are so far in Final Fantasy 16. Spoilers. We have just defeated Bahamut. The fight was incredible. I'm pretty sure it was like a 45 minute cutscene. It was amazing. But uh, in the last video, that's what we did. Defeated Bahamut, uh, finally got reunited with Joshua. Clive and Joshua are reunited after like 18 years, officially. I mean, they've, they've kind of crossed paths a little bit, but not like an actual being reunited till then. And uh, it is it has just been an absolutely incredible experience. Um, <clears throat> today, what the plan is, is uh, we're going around, we're helping a few of the different villages, a, a few of the different cities. And then we want to go and confront Barnabas and Habard. Habard? Harbard? What was his name again? So that's what you're gonna see today. It's great. There's an awesome fight at the end. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, you defeated Bahamut. Can you do the Baha Blast? I can. Are you making them scores then? Otto, how fares the realm? How fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the free cities. Helping Mid with her project. Mid. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just a messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Actually, you know what we should do? We should set our icons and do the Bahamut. Just like play with it, you know? Just to, just to see what Bahamut has to offer. You know? How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, Fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Iron Heyar has been sighted off Storm. The world, in short, it's as king. It's is 11 in months chaos. Did. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away 
at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. A rundown of the story so far. I've okay. I have really got to find a way to, to put together a rundown of the story so far in short terms. Oh, oh, we can get the new sword here. Trouble with your gear. Or so will it be? Brightburn. Okay, so diamond sword. See, I can finally get. I can finally craft a diamond sword. But now that I can craft a diamond sword, it's not as good as the brightburn. This is one of my, okay, so, talking about, so, like, so. being nitpicky with the game, that it? I will say one of my few complaints so far is I, I do think the, I, I, I wish the gear system was more fleshed out, actually. Some of the crafting and stuff, you know? <laughs> this game in years, great story, amazing graphics, four out of ten. Here we go. Let me guess. You'll hear about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> It doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That will be a first. <laughs> oh, frick. Cursor, it my bad. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a Kashyyyk out of gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. <laughs> The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock. Otto's of voice is really good too. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means there's only two people who no. can. Idea, this game is incredible. Jedi. Actually, let them know we're on our way. Yeah, I know this game. This game is uh, act like I'm telling you, it's it's. I do think this is one of the best games I've played in years, maybe the best. Like as far as a new release goes, it's for sure the best since Final Fantasy VII remake. And to be honest with you, I think this might be better than Final Fantasy VII remake. So we have to aid. Okay, so we have to basically go to the different locations. We have to go to Martha's Rest, Northreach, and Dalamil. First, we find Isabel. <laughs> Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. I saw it with my own eyes. The whole of Oriflame under a flood. 
Garrison's being sorely tested. Times are hard. Your custom is most. Wait, why is it a lock on it? Quest progress is restricted? Oh, it's probably because we're in the middle of an event. Okay, we have to aid them in their dilemma. This is Monka Omega right now. My lord. My lady. Oh, look, a whore. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. Courtesan. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a cashier, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. Akashic, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Is this one's game of the year, then this year suck for games. But here's the thing. This year's been amazing for games. Like, actually incredible. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting Choose reinforcements, the but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us Gone. do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall. Because they are my charges, and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Ahem. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. That thing, it took off the captain's head. Before we could even draw his... Why are all women in games flat chested nowadays? She's not flat chested. Is that bait? Frick, did I fall for the bait? Were you trying to get me to look at her boobs? Idiot, why would you do that? Stop. <laughs> I, made, I made us man look at her boobs. What the frick, dude? <laughs> Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I. They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. Curious. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be. No, not clown stream. We should crown. 
I'm sorry, darling. I truly am. We do to deserve this. Oh no. Oh look, chocobos. Dude, you can see them so far off in the distance, man. Like the render distance is kind of nuts. Oh, oh, these guys are infected with the with the ether basically. I can shoot there. These are evil chocobos. Okay, impulse. Oh, this basically puts a dot on them. Okay, flare breath. Oh! Nice. You're evil, they attack them first. No, they're evil. They attacked me. Mega Flare is garbage for single target? Yeah. I should just stick to my old combo. Like, I kind of wanted Bahamut, but I should stick to my old combo. Did I have Garuda? Garuda, Jamaica. You're on the map? Who needs a map? Who needs a map? Dude, okay. I'm learning more combos. I'm flying with ignition! Wait, what? You can fly with ignition? Wait, I just died? I died! Oh, it doesn't count, chat. I was testing. It does not count. I was testing, okay? That does not count. I'm testing abilities. But how come the first bomb didn't kill me? I sat in the bomb because the first bomb didn't kill me when it exploded. It wasn't an IQ that I was literally testing to see like the, do they actually explode or not. You killed it before it blew up? Well, how come it didn't die? I was running an ignition into it. And earlier, whenever I was using fire abilities on the bomb, it didn't it didn't do any it didn't heal it or anything. Running around Stormwind. I'm looking for this quest. It says make for more. Quest destination is nearby. So I'm trying to I'm trying to scout. I'm trying to scour the area for the actual quest. I mean I keep seeing the most blue stuff here. In this area. And that's why that's why I keep coming here. But I also thought it was maybe at the entrance. Look. I see them. Huh? Wait, what? That was so good. Okay. Dude, I think I skipped the trigger for the quest. No, I skipped, I skipped like the point on the ground that you have to actually step on to trigger the quest. Once it's like doo, 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 doo. you start getting railed, man. You still suffer from HDMI S band? Yeah, I had surgery for it. It didn't help. Do you think there are more? 
there are always they had to go in through the anus. But I'd say we've done it's what we can good. for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. I heard about the firebomb death. It's not true. I, it's not true. I have, I never died in Final Fantasy. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. <laughs> the garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts, for now at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes, eh? You found that me. I never needed to convince him. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Okay. So now we have to go help Martha's Reach and Dolomiel. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. He's gonna die. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Act of Time Lord, the Imperial Province of Rosaria. A nation formerly known as the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. So now it's known as the Imperial Province. Occupying the western reach of the continent of Storm, while Rosaria has been a vassal state of the Empire for nigh, excuse me, nigh on two decades, the uprising in Twinside led by Prince Dion Lesage and his royal dragoons and subsequent death of both Holy Emperor and Empress in the year 878 has left Sandbrick with barely the wherewithal to rule itself, rendering the erstwhile dukedom a subject of the empire in name and little else. Valisthea, a, com com a realm comprising of the twin continents of Storm and Ash, over which the Mother Crystals stand timeless vigil. Timeless, that is, until Sid and his disciples commence their campaign to bring each one crashing down, spreading chaos and confusion to every corner of the land. When ill-omened clouds summoned by Ultima gathered over Valisthea, uh, the delicate balance governing the magic-yielding power of Aether was finally shattered, and the realm was changed forever. Martha. Landlady of the Golden Stables. The tavern at the heart of Martha's Rest. She is also a friend of Sid's cause, keeping the hideaway supplied with both victuals and, inf with both victuals and information on developments in Western Storm. A second string to her business that she strives to keep secret from the Imperial authorities. And Martha's Rest is the, uh, it's like an inn. 
Small settlement huddled atop a rocky tor overlooking the swampy lowlands of southeastern Rosaria. Cell swords gather in its barracks, hawkers in its streets. While those short on work can be heard singing over flagons of ale from morning until night in the village um, eponymous tavern, while the former duchy may want to cheer since being annexed by the empire, the rest is a rare spot of sunshine among the gloom, and most travelers make a point of stopping over when they're passing through. Uh, the dude on the other side of the bridge you just crossed gives you a mount side quest? Oh, really? Okay, are ads done? I think ads are done. Clive, wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. The Akashic. <laughs> I keep forgetting to change my icons back. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking one icon short, man. Don't kill dogs, they're not dogs, they're wolves. Big gouge? So is that wind up AOE? The Palin class in Final Fantasy, there it is. In 14, yeah. The crying sounds, they're not crying, they're laughing. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wademan? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? Sir Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha you know what's interesting? There's after. no bigs and wedge in this game. On. Like we had Wade and Tyler. I thought they would be bigs and wedge. I guess yet. Yeah. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell, the Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Classic Metacritic user. I don't understand why why are they attacking? Why why are they like review bombing Final Fantasy 16? Sounds literally every game. It does happen, for sure. But like is it is it just like people are just they're they're just losers and they just want things to be bad? Oh do. Oh do. Yeah, I think it, I think it probably is a troll account as well. I was actually just thinking that, but like, uh, are they? My my point of like why why people are review bombing the game. This weird tribalism with consoles in the current year is just like the dumbest thing. 
Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Turtle! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. Frick, man, I keep forgetting to set my other icon ability. Giant enemy crab. The heck, my mission got deleted right away. The horde are bad in this game, too. Dude, this thing is so beefy, man. Shell, okay, big time. Ten thousand fists in the combat. Is so anyone good. hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Good timing. Weed Wizard, thanks for 13 months. Oh. Sully from Monsters, Inc. Oh, wait, no, that's not Sully. Oh, Mike. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? Uh... Is this hit him? Is that hitting him? I can't tell. I wonder. No, it's not hitting him. Okay. <laughs> big damn, big damn. 
name, big name, big name. Limit break. Going into the stagger with a gouge. Big damn. Yes, yes. Rising flame, the big wind up. Boom. 36K, hell yeah. Nice. Big damn. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha as well we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that... Classic. Of course they can stay. He looks like JonTron to you. My lord, there's someone. What I was the items? Meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. Uh, I am Oscar, Oscar yeah, of House yeah. Murdoch. Murdoch. I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. Oh. I am sure of his nephew. <clears throat> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. He's gonna ask him for an autograph. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy shield. N not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that. Uh, the uh, awkward. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. Fine, no fantasy is an RPG. It's the only one that's for me. It's the RPG for me. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. 
And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? Yes. We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? What are you doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. <laughs> what brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnes. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. I think we have the Prime Whip it out. What are your thoughts on Black Desert? Um, I have, uh, I, I played it, like, just a little bit years ago. For like a, I did, like, a Thrift Bounty. Um, so I just don't know too much about so, it, but I'm gonna play it today for this Crowd Channel thing. What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well... If it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves. And be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But... Perhaps that realization... Would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed to the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. Your own city. Ah, here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, 
May I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings. We'll play hockey. Mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canva to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no, that there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed the every last crack. one worth his salt, and not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalham's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. You were right, boy. What does this sit exactly? Uh, I mean, Sid has basically become a title that's something. given to somebody who's like the leader of. To keep it. Yes, but. I guess like the. Ah, the here he is now. Resistance. Natalie, allow me to introduce to Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. League of Legends. League of Legends. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Charade? Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Maybe I like, I like stacking this with the face tracker. We shall see so what moves. we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you.
It appears I have no choice but to do what little I do. Mummy. This man is a serious playthrough. I'm sorry. Should I just leave it like this the whole time? Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. They want the whole damn town is what they want, hell. I have a favor to ask. I'm Go told on. the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. The stakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. About five, Ed? Yeah. I'm gonna leave it for a little bit. <laughs> the women folk have come to work. Oh, 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 oh. Will of the Wikes, Lightning Rod, Ignition! I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging. Big shift. They need to overwhelm us. Flame lash. Portal blow, burning strike, lunge. Lunch. There you go, boss. Uh, not boss. But... Uh, relax, relax, relax. What the frick? Dude, one combo? Big damn. Precision dodge, precision counter, precision dodge times two. Oh, frick. Limit break. Roll the likes. Sick. Nice. Sick. It's every to play BDO. I wish more people could BDO a chance nowadays since the change of ownership with Pearl Abyss. The game's gotten so much better, it's not even comparable. It has combat, especially people with another MMO compared to. Really? Yeah, um. I've heard there's been a lot of changes to BDO lately. The townspeople. Could they have held out? So we'll see how it goes. I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. What I do for my stuff he knows before my head blows up his eye when game by game, day by day, back to back, cause I am the two-time 1993-1994 blockbuster champion. Never mind. Nobody can be as cool as me. Just be me. That's my medicine. Thanks, Doc. Natalie, 
I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why, we are united. And that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. Things under control. Rest. We gotta go back to the hideaway. Can I get my salad? Mmm. Look how good this salad looks. Mmm. Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 won't support keyboard and mouse on PC. What? It's not a keyboard and mouse game. But also, like, you're releasing on PC. What? Was wondering when you turn up. Hellos from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive... We knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies, part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed, but now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. Mm. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. 
Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? <laughs> With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Joshua. Oh, there it is again. Clive, it's Gav. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Death flag? There's another death flag. Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. Listen. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attention. Angel Bump, it's the song! to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. I do another boomer month in the coming months. Uh, if I were to do another boomer month, it would probably it's be like in August. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. Wait, ready? Look at You're this. You're right. Sure about time. Yote is a fine scout. But maybe not. Maybe not till like January or something. She will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. I'm raining, I'm raining. Oh. Oh. 
We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Dude, I love flying the chocobo. <laughs> He's choking the chocobo. <sighs> Imagine doing this quest without getting the mount, by the way. Choking the choco? Oh, my bad. We need to die. Have you been to Tabor before? Is it choking the oboe? There are a few places I haven't. Dude, doing this quest without the mount? That's such a massively Wait, no, long run. There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Doing this to chocobo right now? Stop, that's... Don't look at me! <laughs> Why is it zoomed in so much? recommend this game I adore this game it's so good my lord Marquis it is an honor I am Yote knight of the undying charged with the protection of his grace Joshua Rosfield keeper of the flame of the Phoenix uh, of course it all makes sense now would you care to elaborate the Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. Mm. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant Yote. companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. Wait, how old is she? You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace, it is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall, it was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua, the Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? How, she protected and saved her. Uh, 
Upon learning of the loot involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teaches like on this. the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce! I, I like this meeting. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you! Distinguished members of the council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... Sorry, I misinterrupted. What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. Is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. Mm -hmm. Ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! Enough. Are we the whole room salvation. Down. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, Your Majesty. Mythos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. By the 
flames. Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. The figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it, like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. Yeah, that's what I thought, Split no, Soul. I thought it looked I like the, uh, the fusion. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be it looks more like that than Ultima. To the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia los Delan to his sag ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to. As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If, if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Isn't that his sister? <laughs> Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. Okay. Cyril. How fair is the search? Well, Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill, charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the phoenix and rightful archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Look how small my head looks now. enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? 
The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. Phoenix down! For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. Is it Canva, then? We'll talk about this later. Okay. Make for Camber. Dude, this uh this section has been like a lot of cutscenes and stuff, which is great, obviously, because I I mean the the story's really good. But uh good news and bad news. My hope was that I would destroy the next mother crystal before I have to go. I have to go in like an hour. Don't go then? No, I I'm I have to go in like an hour. You'll come back and play more today. My plan was to come back and play more after the, the Black Desert thing. Uh, or come back and do like reacts and stuff, stream again. But I might play more at this rate because uh, I, have, I have a poker thing tonight at 10. Yeah, I have poker tonight at 10. Yeah, my, I was hoping that I could, we could get Odin today and then I was gonna finish the game tomorrow. Yeah, like you, you gotta have some downtime. That's true. The point. Poker Andy Overload. Yeah, it all got stacked up at once because it was supposed to be over the course of a month, but schedules the and stuff messed still up. Still holding their own then. So tonight and tomorrow, and then I'm done. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? But we're gonna do reacts and stuff. We're gonna There's watch a videos during poker. the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Free cities of Camber. Sounds like thunder. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you, or even listening most at time. Name's Middadol, but well, everyone calls me Mid. My lady. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> everyone calls me Mid. My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. Uncle Byron is such a good character, man. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. 
Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Was this game coming to PC at least a year? All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. Let's find the survivors. That I stand All right, boys, this game is those things. Guys are so low level. Oh, Orcish fodder. They're supposed to be low level. Okay, just got railed. I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging. Rising flames. And the wind up. Boom. 32k. This is in dodge, this is in counter. Phoenix dip. Oh, frick, frick. Ignition! Carried by Wolf. The Wolf is useless. Good boy. Can I pet him? I wanna let me pet him. Maybe it's because I'm like combat mode. Dum da da dum da da dum.
Okay, good. Doesn't look too happy, I'm sorry. So it's just gotta, like, you gotta make things work. What's up, Geld? Ignition! Nice! Oh, this spotter is level 33. Precision dodge from behind? I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging, I'm gouging. Nice, level up. Yeah, my BDO thing's in like, uh, it's a, technically it's at six. Technically it's at six. There's nothing but monsters here. How do you feel about monster level scaling so you're never super strong? Uh, I think it depends on the game, but I think uh, sometimes it can work. I, I think there's a lot of times where people force level scaling into a game and they shouldn't. Uh, I think the way it is now is pretty good, to be honest. Cause I don't think they're scaling stuff, but I think I do think it feels pretty good. Oh my gosh, that dog just killed somebody! Crusher. Hell yeah. Someone needs to tell Almond he's playing on story mode instead of action mode. He's playing on East. Wait, he's playing on the wrong server? These creatures. <laughs> and who's Almond? Sultimus reach extend this far. What the hell is going on here? Stomp, double stomp, boom. There's blind justice. Deadly embrace. Lunge. Deadly embrace. Nice. New enemies approach. What does he want? Oh frick. What does he want? He wants a taste of ease. Roll the whites. Lightning rod. Big damn gouge! Hell yeah! Okay, who's next? You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt, and now you're here, with an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. 
As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Oh shit. Slate near? Ads? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um. We're good. We have 13 minutes. Okay, slip near. Precision dodge? Okay, I'm gonna go a little likes. Oh my gosh, I missed my mission. Oh dude, I used the deadly leap to dodge him. That was actually sick. The wind up. Wait, he dodged? Precision dodge? Dude. Harry! Big gouge, big gouge, big gouge, big gouge. Precision dodge times two? Limit. I'm getting the stagger right here. Prison dodge time three. Ah, oh, frick. I didn't get the full combo of it all. Trick. I still got 27k. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Chosen one! Perhaps this will kindle your flame. Well, last time you no. flame. A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Gungnir? Dragoon? Watch closely, Mythos. Oh no! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, that did a lot of damage. Dodge again. Precision dodge times two. Big Harry. Okay, I thought he was gonna dash. To me, boy. Okay. Man, this guy's so hard to hit. Big Perry. Good 
that wasn't even the full combo. I got 36 and a half K, dude. Is seldom enough. Would you not agree? Dead man's beer? Actually, I wouldn't. Uh, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Precision dodge times four. Where is he? Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, this is big. This is real big. This is massive, dude. Big Perry. Oh, frick, I screwed up. Dodge down three. Precision counter. Precision dodge time six. I got hit by one, dude. Oh, limit. What is this fight? I don't. It's insane, dude. Nice parry. Okay. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna pull an item here. Uh, I'm out of all healing. I have a Lionheart tonic, an elixir, and a strength tonic. I wonder if I can stack. I'm gonna go Lionheart tonic right now. I have one strength and two elixirs. So if things get bad, I can pause elixir. Big parry times three. That's huge, actually. Nice. I didn't even realize he was almost dead until I, until I parried. I looked at his health and he died. I was like, oh, okay. I thought, I, I thought he had like 30% more health left. Nice, dude. Sanguine insignia used in crafting. Okay. The vessel is strong. My leash. Clive. Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. <laughs> it was over before we arrived. <laughs> well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Founder. 
Leaving so soon, Mythos? Barnabas, Odin. It's the king. Indeed. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, warden of Ash and king of Walud. Get back. Um, so yeah, I have no potions. I'm kind of worried. Yeah, I have no healing items. Except I have two elixirs, full heals. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Your volition is a cancer. Look at the line. Try it. No potions? True. Joshua! Shiva! Spoilers! Sometime later, what happened to the cliffhanger? City outskirts. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. On the next episode, I'm afraid the rest is up to him. 
This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every <laughs> sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your Any life. Piss takers? And for what? Some girl for you are. Know. Are. <clears throat> Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? <clears throat> I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. He's alive! <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. <laughs> with the King on board, no doubt. Yeah, and hey, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's all right, mid. Hmm. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. <clears throat> and as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the whole Saved. way off. Or do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad'll have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. world won't save itself. Return to the hideaway. So I wonder right now... Okay, now is a good time for me to do commercial break time. I had a, I had a snooze... I had snoozes available, so I stacked the snoozes. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Otto might know something. Yeah, I hope they don't kill Jill. I mean, to be honest, that is a pretty good stopping point. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy 16. Uh, this game is amazing. I've had an absolute blast playing this. Uh, I really hope 
that Jill is not dead because uh, Jill is great. Shiva is great. Um, fun character. I think I think chat does not want to see that happening. Uh, that would be bad. So I think a lot of you guys probably don't want to see that happening uh, watching over on YouTube. So uh, I have no idea what to expect at this point. I mean, this this game is is constantly like cliffhangers and and plot twists and everything so far. So. Again, I've had an absolute blast. If you guys like these YouTube videos, make sure to sub to the channel. Leave a comment, tell me what you think about these videos and stuff. We'll keep it rolling from here.